Hello everyone, this is Rock Schneider again, and this is gonna be a different type of video, I guess, or the same. Well, it's a mid cloud review, but this time it's gonna be an appendix, not a figure per se. So yeah, this is the appendix. They were made, I don't know exactly when, but they came in two waves, or was it three? The first wave was was four appendix. It was Virgo Shaka, Seiya, Radamantis, and Saga. Yeah, basically they made this appendix because when they made Shaka, uh, Virgo, the first one, it was it was okay for the moment, but for the standards, by the time these things came out, it looked really shitty. And you saw the review, you can see the hair, it's horrible, the head is horrible, the head is too big, it doesn't have the, the good details, and when you put it in armor mode, it looks fugly. It reminds me of the vintage figure. So they made the, the appendix, which is uh, basically it's just a bust. It's a stand, the bust, and the head with the rosary he used on the Hades chest. Uh, the boxes are really, really small, really thin. As you can see, has Saint Claude made appendix, bit of shaka. On the back, you can see how it uh, looks. It has a stand. Uh, Option parts. Oh, okay, he's showing you different ways. I mean, he has the close eyes right here showing the with the helmet, which looks really nice. And over here you have him without the the helmet, the eyes open, and the hair is really nice. It's not. It doesn't look like horrible plastic. And it's all wavy and shit. And you know how people love Shaka. Blonde, blue eyes, and white. Whatever. Your show, Kurumada. <laughs> Anyways. And the best part, uh, well, kind of the best part, in the armor mode you can attach the wings how they're supposed to, because the in the in the anime the the shoulders they open up and they become the wings of the virgin. Also, you remember how the the hands in the original armor they were all plastic and they, they didn't match, so they made the different type. But it's a problem to put them. Also, the helmet, you know how it looks over here, it's it's all wingy and stuff. It goes down and it becomes the hair of the maiden. So, yeah, in theory, it looks really good. Basically, that's it for the boss. You can open it right here. And it shows, oh, and obviously, the best part is you can apply it to the figure, the original figure. Right here, you can see. You can apply it in two ways. One is the straight way. But it leaves you with that horrible neck. So, yeah, you do need to make some modifications to make it look way better. So here are the parts. Yeah, I know. They don't look as good as in the pictures. I mean, they're all shiny over here and they're brownish. I don't mind it, but it's okay. So anyway, let's go ahead and open it. Uh, how is this one open? Oh, it's over here. Uh, lower it. I'm gonna form the bust first, and if there's time, which I don't think so, uh, I'll show you how to apply it on the figure and on the arm. So here are the parts. It's really basic, it's only one plastic bubble. It's got the two wavy here, the rosary, the, the chest for the, bu uh, for the bust, the stand, the new wings, the new shoulders, the chest for the bust. Uh, the he new helmet and the uh, lopey ears, two new heads, one with close eyes, one with open eyes, the new, the new hands for the armor and the new horrible neck. So let's go ahead and oh, over oh here instruction. Como montar madura. Very simple, two pages only. I showed you how to apply it in the bus and how to apply it on the figure. And that's where I had problems. Anyway, right, let's go and build the bust first. And then I'm going to show you how to apply it on the, on the armor. And at the end, how to apply it on the figure. I want to delete it. Take out the base. I don't think we need all the parts. Oh, no, we don't need all the parts. Take out the rosary. Rosary is all wavy and stuff. I usually don't use it because it's a pain in the butt to put it because as you can see right here it has a, a peg and a peg hole and it's a peg here but it's all loose and sometimes it's hard to put there we go so there's the rosary 
it's really nice in detail purple the lotus leaves and it's really good I mean if you saw the Haiti chapter you understand why the rosary has the those kanjis uh, in blood I, I think it was a, a message for Athena yeah to tell her uh, how to get to the underworld take out the shoulder pads are plastic they're a little bit better than the original uh, chest it's not die cut it's all plastic 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 uh, the bust it's a regular tiny bust uh, remove this bubble take out the hair it's two hairs uh, one is for wearing the, the helmet and one is without the helmet see this one's for helmet this one is isn't. it's basically the same wavy hair it's much better than the original I'll show you how it looks with open closed eyes and helmet non helmet and everything and here's one of the heads this hair is obviously for the non-armor one you can see it has a peg right there a peg hole right here peg over here and you just let it in like so and that's how he looks with the new smooth wavy hair for Leshak and this one's where he's wearing the uh, the helmet same thing just plug it in that's how it looks weird it's a floating head with hair wow yeah it's kind of those hindi demon vampire things if you've seen old hindi movies about monsters and vampires you'll understand that reference anyway let's take out the helmet it's all made in plastic it's very very well detailed i mean much better than the original one and i think that's all the parts we're gonna need for right now so let's get started assembling and i'm gonna use instructions anyways you just uh peg these two together uh, the chest you open it apply like that it has uh these groups uh sorry have these groups here and they attach right inside there so it doesn't move close it like so and then you just apply the the shoulders so you just slide them in it picks right here in the back I think you removed this thing. yeah damn it I was gonna break this thing and <laughs> uh, kind of afraid because all plastic this one's not that the other one wasn't but this one see this one's are all <laughs> weird and uh, don't break for God's sakes you're already being sold damn it I pulled something I pulled some neck so yeah you just apply a little more force um, that horrible thing there that's how it came it's not uh, I didn't do that that's how it came from factory uh, the neck just put it back in like so and basically you just see there it's a peg here and you just slide it in like so basically oh, let me put this thing record something has to fall like I was saying let's just put this thing back on like so there it is that's how it looks from the back really easy really simple let's go ahead and put the head like so oh yeah damn it anyways uh, that's how it goes like it goes like that and then you just slide in the helmet and you can have the bus just like so really simple really cool but I forgot to do something else and everything came apart that's why I hate this bust and Gemini is even worse I mean they're good they're uh, don't get me wrong they're good but my god putting them it's a pain in the butt anyways I forgot uh, the this peg right here you can peg the the rosary there yeah. See, it goes like that 
and then you put everything back plug everything there and then we just plug the head there and we're done really simple like that and here we have him in the 360 reviewer disc of total devastation i'm just kidding but seriously i mean the bus is really cool uh, it's not that expensive i think it cost me like twenty dollars back then i got it through ebay so if you get it for more expensive than twenty dollars i suggest you don't pay for it unless you really really like shaka a lot don't suggest you pay too much for it it's all plastic yes yeah, the update the upgrade is great and everything but it's all plastic so it's up to you if you think it's worth it or not i got it cheap so that's why i, I liked it and yeah it was a big upgrade for my original figure which sucked balls but anyways uh yeah the figure is all really really nice. here we have him without the helmet and his eyes closed like everybody loves to see shock without his damn helmet because you know his skull is stronger than the helmet i won't deny it. he looks good the figure the upgrade the new face the new hair and everything looks really good especially when you apply it on the figure it looks uh, phenomenal is it great well it's not that great but i mean like i said before if you get it uh, cheap then it's it's good it's worth it so i guess that's it for the bus let's go ahead and apply the parts for the armor let's do, let's do the armor oh my god that means i need to take out the armor oh my so here we have the armor almost complete we're just gonna add the and somebody is messaging me we just <laughs> sorry we're just gonna add the the atom parts uh if i remember where i put the, oh, no, 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 no. just the other parts that we didn't use before uh instead of using the horrible shoulders well they're not horrible but i mean they don't go in this form we're gonna use this ones which are the wings and basically we use half and half we use uh the new add-ons for the new parts but we use the original ones and they apply exactly the same it has two holes right here two grooves there we go it goes in an angle that's why they want to go in i'm going to apply the other one like so and then we use the the cover and there we go we got wings we got beautiful wings yes 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 we are not going to use the original helmet from the figure because the this head is way bigger than the uh, than the new one the new helmet here's the new one it's this one is way way bigger this is the original one this is the new one <laughs> so we're gonna use this one but what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these wings and they just come out really easy like so and we're gonna take the new ones that are over here uh, these are the, the original ones and these are the, the new ones as you can see well these are the new ones uh, right there you can, you can focus I'm seeing through a lens people I'm sorry <laughs> basically they're originally like this and they just flop down like that but this thing stays the same you see see so all we do is apply them on the helmet like so grab the other one like so and it looks like it does in the anime like it should i don't know why i mean why didn't they do this originally i mean the mid clothes were expensive enough already and you have to buy a new add-on anyways here's, uh, here's the new version of the, uh, the helmet and this is how it's gonna look on the armor so we're gonna have grab the armor over here and just slide it in look at it much 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 better Put these things aside and last thing oh my god the hands <laughs> they're very pretty they're all shiny and they're metal plastic the problem is the pegs they're too big these things they're too big the holes for the original hands look just see they don't stay they're too wobbly i mean you're not going to be moving the armor too much so if you can get at an angle 
We have the hole. There we go. And here we have the armor. Just look at the difference. It's it's amazing. Yes, it's supposed to be leaning back like that because it's praying to the heavens. Uh, I was saying I was saying before that it's not worth it. The the figure is not worth. It. It is. I mean, it, uh, like I said, if you get it for a, a really good price, I got it for twenty dollars a long time ago when it came out. If you get it for around the same price, or get it as a bundle, like I'm, I'm selling it like that, it's already sold. So don't don't even bother ask, asking right now, unless I update and the person didn't want to anymore. It, but it's already been sold. I sold it together. The the figure with the atom. But yeah, it looks beautiful it's perfect if, if your soyuk sign is beautiful and you love this figure and i recommend you get the, the add-on because it looks amazing amazing well worth 20 bucks god i'm gonna miss this post <laughs> but anyway let's go ahead and yeah, I think we, we have time to apply it on the figure. Oh my god. So anyways, here we have Shaka uh, with his armor on and everything. So the instructions tells you not to apply the head over this, this neck joint. Uh, it, it, the neck is horrible. This neck is super tiny. It looks and it doesn't fit. Uh, it, if you put it on, it's going to be looking down all the time. It just doesn't fit what it tells you to do is to apply this it's a neck add-on yes our neck add-on you heard right all you have to do is you slide it in like so Shaka has now a huge giraffe neck and that's what I hate about this thing I mean it's either a tiny neck or giraffe neck uh, he looks good don't get me wrong I'll show you right now with the helmet on and everything yes I do not like it it's too big too large and it's it's just not good what I do uh, and this is why it's a little complicated I use this neck this is the original one that goes on the bust you can see over here this is the one that just plugs in like so this is a more appropriate neck. It's not long, it's not small, it's the right size. But in order to put this thing on, you need to disassemble the figure. And that it's a pain in the butt. Uh, let me show you what I mean. Let me take off this thing. <laughs> Came out with the whole neck. Look at it, it's, it's huge. Too, uh, it's not that it's too thick, it's that it's too long. It looks like a giraffe neck, so no. I'm not gonna use that. So all you have to do is take off the shoulders uh, if I can. Uh, take off the shoulders and remove the the breastplate. You don't have to remove everything, but I guess you can remove the shoulder uh, guards, uh, so it's easier to remove and take it off. What you need to do. Uh, I think you need to remove the whole skirt. Well, anyways, you need to remove these three screws. Be careful, because uh, the shoulders, the, sh the shoulders, the connection here, it's on little springs. Do not lose those springs. When you take them off, be very careful. I'm not gonna sh uh, do it on video. I'm just gonna show you how it looks. But just just be careful with those uh, with those things. All you have to do is remove this th these three screws. Uh, take it apart and you just apply the new neck it's parts forming but it's gonna make shaka look better and i'm gonna show you how it looks right now okay correction i, I was wrong uh there are some figures that come that have the springs on the shoulders right here not not this one i don't know why it, uh, he did but he doesn't have it now you still need to be a little careful you just take the three screws off and remove it my figure the chest as you can see this the middle screw it doesn't come out because I kind of broke that part so you can you have to be a little bit careful now it's not a problem this is the other neck the one for the bust as you can see it has a brown circle in the middle that's where this thing used to be 
when I applied it, uh, it came off. I, I don't know, when I took it off, it just came off. It doesn't matter. I mean, it as you, as you saw, it doesn't affect the original figure, and it doesn't affect with the new bust. But anyway, all you have to do, this is the original one. It was like that, like this. Just remove it. Put the new one straight. Uh, uh, put everything together. <coughs> everything together. But there you go. See the the screw popped out because of the the donut it has inside. Anyway, all you have to do is uh, rescrew everything back in. Obviously, there's a difference uh, in the arms, uh, the original skin color. But it doesn't matter. I mean, everything's covered, so you don't see anything. So let me just assemble everything back. So here's the figure with the armor all applied. Here's the uh, original uh, horrible neck the figure comes with. It's extremely tiny. And let's see how he looks now with the uh, with the uh, new neck. I'm gonna apply that right there. And look at the difference. Look at it. Isn't isn't that more proportional? Just look at it. I mean, that's how it should be. I mean, it's a uh, he can barely move his head like that because of the hair. That's that's not the, the the next fault. But look at it. That's how it should be. Is it worth it to do that? I mean, yeah, it should. I mean, if you have the figure and you have like what 15 minutes to disassemble and assemble everything back, yeah, it's worth it. It it, it definitely is worth it. Look at that shaka. Shaka shaka shaka. That's how it should look. That's a very kick ass shaka. And yes, you can apply the cape and everything, but for this review, I am not gonna do that. I mean, it's just to show you how he looks with the new upgrade. Is it worth it? Yes, yes, it's worth it. He looks badass. His new face, new hair, the new neck, it's more proportional. It doesn't look like a giraffe or like it, his neck shrunk for some strange reason. And here we have, and here we have Shaka, you know, full 360 degree view. Look at it, it, he looks amazing. The new wavy hair, it's made for posing. Uh, unlike Doko, he actually can pose a little better. He doesn't, he, his armor is not that bulky. And without the cape, and even with the cape, I mean, he's easy to pose. Uh, he's a little back heavy because of the hair. But it's only on this thing. That's why I have to po post him with uh, his legs open, because of the heels of the boots. They're they're like uh, they go inside instead of going outside, and that's why he gets a little back heavy. But as you can see, the figure looks phenomenal. Is it worth it? Yeah, go ahead and buy it. If, if, if you like this figure, yes. If you bought the original mid class for Beagle, for Shaka, I mean, you need to get the other. It's essential. The figure looks fugly uh, originally, but like this, and with the modification, the add-on and the little modification, he looks perfect. Of course, the new EX version looks probably like 10 times better, not to mention the, uh, the new God Club, but uh, God Clubs are a little way, way, way too expensive for my taste. They look pretty and everything, and... I mean, if you have the money to pay for an EX and you're just gonna buy one, or if you're rich, go ahead and buy them all. But if you're just gonna buy one between the mid clot and the EX, I mean, for this fee, you're gonna probably gonna spend like 80 bucks, probably. And EX is around 120, I think. So it depends. I mean, if you want something simple, just buy this figure. But if you want something phenomenal and then can post way, 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 way better, then yeah, get the AX version. And here we have Shaka without the helmet, looking all mystical and how everybody loves to see Shaka and all the saints without the helmet and all the fluffy hair. I will admit it, the figure looks amazing without the helmet too. And all mystical like he always does. I must say, I, I thought it was going to take me a long time to make this uh, add-on thing and I kind of didn't want to make it because I had to do the whole taking off screws and everything. But he came out really good. I mean, the, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy and I hope it was uh, helpful, this review and little upgrade thing. 
uh, I hope you like it if you like it uh, if you like my videos go ahead and subscribe uh, I really 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 appreciate it so yeah if you like the video give it a likes up uh, hit the like button and if you like more videos or would like to see more videos of me Rock Schneider uh, go ahead and subscribe I'm gonna try to upload more videos every now and then and I hope it was helpful and thank you all so much for watching until next time see ya